D1 Performance Nutrition that I don't see anybody on here talking about. Part six. A couple videos back, I mentioned for a slight second how our coaches would tell us that we need to eat and drink our protein shake immediately after we finished our workout. And some people got a hold of this and was like, the anabolic window is not a thing. What are you talking about, LOL? And I realized like, I'm reaching people, like these are the people I'm not even trying to reach. If you look in the video, I did not mention anabolic once. It made me realize that TikTok is mostly consumed with all of this information about bodybuilding and physique, and there's not enough things for athletes. Like that information applies to people that aren't doing this, that aren't out here running their 110s, that aren't getting on the field, that aren't on the court, like that aren't on the track, and also in the gym. Athletes absolutely need to eat as soon as possible with frequent training and not even just protein. Carbs is the most important thing. Studies have found that muscle glycogen synthesis is 50% higher within the first two hours. And what muscle glycogen synthesis is, is the process of rebuilding the primary fuel source of your muscles. What's found to increase it even further is pairing those carbohydrates to a four to one gram ratio, meaning for every four carbs, you get one gram of protein, it increases it even significantly higher. It's been found if you have at least a three hour delay of no carbs, no protein, that there's a 70% drop in your muscle recovery. And this is obvious, like in retrospect, this is so obvious, like we were given like pizza, or barbecue immediately after games to ensure that the next day we would come in for training and treatment and sometimes a lift and be good to go, even though we played a three hour game. Some people get hooked up on specifics. We had all types of meals, not just pizza and barbecue. During fall camp, we were required to eat in the morning for breakfast. We were required to eat right after practice. We were required to have our protein shake and a snack after lift. We were given dinner. Like this is so obvious. And during that time, it's even more apparent because you're going nonstop. Morning practice, lift, night practice. Like you're going and going and you need that. And it's not like, oh, they're like, yeah, we could just keep the same times as what we typically do. No, you had to refuel. So to all my athletes out there, do not get caught up on the bodybuilding side of TikTok. They can get away with this because they have different splits for different muscles. They might not work out the same muscle group for 72 hours where your body and the same parts of your body are taking the same punishment over and over again on top of lifting. Do not let them trick you. You are different.